Okay, now for the assumption of the position, and here it's a simple task where we would explain the activity to the patient. For a patient to have very little control over their pelvis, we could assess the patient by um, either like, you know, do the movement passively or active assisted by explaining the task to the patient. So I need to raise your pelvis, and I will be assisting you from here. So the therapist is half kneeling next to the patient. And we have to always remember to pay attention to our back. And from here, I will assist you, so I will stay it. Okay, relax. For patients with um, less than normal control on the pelvis, but uh, better control than the previous case, we could assess through the legs by uh, placing approximation force through the leg and this traction through this side. So by putting my hands here, and uh, let's raise your pelvis, and I do like this. So here, I am doing approximation through this segment, and traction through this segment. And by this, we try to help the patient assume the position. Now, another technique that could um, facilitate the assumption of the bridging position is combination of isotonics. Um, first, let's analyze the movement actually. So, uh, would you please hold your hands up? Okay, so now, as we said, the hip is in flexion position, and if you are to raise your hip, you raise the pelvis, then we move into extension. So, this is extension movement. This is concentric contraction of the gluteus, gluteus maximus. Holding the position is isometric contraction. Now gradually lower the pelvis. Okay, so here we are doing eccentric contraction because we are gradually lowering the weight against the gravity. With combination of isotonics, we will be resisting those three movements as the gluteus maximus. So the hand placement would be on the pelvis, on the anterior superior iliac spine, and I will resist you through the whole movement. So. First, I will resist you when lifting the pelvis up, so go ahead and lift, okay, and I'm res I resist. Now hold the position, this is isometric contraction, now gradually lower, lower, and I am pulling down, okay, and by this I am resisting the eccentric contraction. So as we can see, the hand placement does not change in this position. Let's do the technique again. First, resist the concentric contraction, go up, 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 up. Okay, now hold, hold, this is isometric. Now gradually lower, don't let me move you fast. Gradually lower, gradually lower. And this is eccentric. One more time, go up, up, up. Hold, hold, gradually lower. Gradually lower. And pull up, relax.